never received justice here, brothers and sisters. Just us, baby. Just and let us remember that it was Louisiana, Baton Rouge in particular, in 1953, where the original bus boycott got started. All praises due to God. And let us not forget that it was a group of crafty, shifty, slick pastors that came to Mr. Reed because he wasn't eloquent of speech and co-opted the, mo the movement and took a state a uh, stadium full of people took their money. T.J. Jemison, baby. Put with them. That's right. Call his name out. T.J. Jemison. Took their money. Went on trips. Ran behind loose women. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I want to be careful because I'm very respectful to elders. You couldn't go in my neighborhood and find one elder that I ever disrespect before I became a Muslim. But now is the time of the separation between the wheat and the tail where well, we got to call it like it is. Come on, so if you rob people and sell people out, even if you are black and you're a surrogate carrier of the white supremacy idea, we got to call you out today. In 1972, we played out this same history where the police department had open field shooting on black people, Brother Milliken. The sheriff's department would kill black people and ask questions later. They went up to Southern University and they murdered Smith and Brown, but what they don't tell you is that Smith and Brown were uh, mentored by Muslims. H. Rap Brown used to come through here. They were trying to get an educational system that was taught, Brother Demetrius, from an Afrocentric point of view. And this is what they were fighting against, Brother Takuna, because they never wanted our people indoctrinated into a knowledge of self. They always want us to think that we got to depend on them for justice. So we want to make it very clear that we got the momentum now in the Millions More Movement, thank God. We got five buses coming from Lafayette. We got ten buses and a few more seats that we want to give a few away here coming from Baton Rouge. You should give yourself a round of applause because we have sponsored people. New Orleans is sending six, uh, six buses. I received phone calls from Morehouse and Spelman. I received calls from the East Coast, from the West Coast. All of our people are dependent on Louisiana to make a statement, to bring back the movement. And we're not going to let slick, neo politicians, I sure do appreciate this, Mr. Edwards, sell us out no more. We got to call him out. If you're a neo politician and you used to be on the in the field, Either you come back to the field and you represent us or you represent the enemy. And there is a difference. So that's what this movement is about. Michael Bell is just the latest victim of the criminal injustice system. Come on. This is the state, mind you, where they passed the law. So if they see any of our little brothers with their pants sagging, and we know that as a man thinking so is he, they taught them how to make their pants sag. My father told me straight to my face, that in Liberty, Mississippi, where he was from, when he was a boy dignified, and by the way, my grandfather was a civil rights worker, and was murdered in racist living in Mississippi by an old no-good devil system. That's what I said. But my father told me that they would come up to black men and black boys and tell them, pull your pants down and let me see you, you know what word I'm talking about. So they started the sagging. They wanted you to look like a slave. And some of our little young rapping brothers got that coach and started making it hip. Come on. I hope I'm not offending anybody. No, I'm really because I'm not, no, okay. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I thank all of you for coming, but I want you to know that we want to be free. We want to be justified. We want to be equitable. We want to take full responsibility for our wives and our children and our families. We don't like the idea of honoring Mr. June Newman, though we respect him, because Mr. June Newman helped put the overpass that took business out of Scotlandville. All of the traffic that used to come down to Scotlandville, now it goes on the interstate and goes around us. Block the councilman in on this side of town. What are we honoring him for? We respect our elders, but we want you to fight for us. We want our elders to share with us the rich history that we have, the rich history and how we resisted slavery and oppression. Right here in North Baton Rouge in closing, we got the largest black institution in the United States of America, but where are our businesses? Under segregation, and I'm not an advocate for segregation, we had three movie theaters, we had grocery stores, we had 
interchange and integration of intellectual minds from Southern University with the minds of the people who couldn't afford to go to college so that they could become educated based on their conversation with an intelligent college student. Come on, man. But now you did like you done the blood diamonds in South Africa. Woo! You sucked all the talent out of the black community and put it over at LSU and put it on the football field and told them don't join no black organizations. And you wonder why our people are dumbed down and my little boy come outside and gotta see a drug dealer. It wasn't always like that in the black community. I'm sorry if y'all scared, but I ain't scared. I ain't scared in the least. I don't care what you write. I don't care what you say. Come on. But God is going to use this rejected and this despised black man and woman who've been in bondage for 400 years to confound the world. And the quicker you all begin to believe that you are God's chosen people, the quicker we rise to the top. Thank you for listening, and may, I, may God bless you all as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum.